I think the, the future of social media and digital communications in government is uh, going to unfold over a fairly long period of time. We might be just at the, at the tip of the iceberg. I, I think we heard somebody, um, I've heard people say that this is just the first pitch in a nine inning game. And to a certain extent, that's true. Communication between government and citizen is an age old problem. It was an issue during Roman times and it's an issue today. It's not a technology problem. Uh, technology is part of the solution and it's becoming in some ways a better part of the solution as the tools get more powerful and as the reach of these tools get better. But what, but what I think we're gonna see over the next 10 years is, is a couple of things. Uh, number one, there's gonna be new pressure put on government uh, to respond to the noise or the communities forming in social media who are, developed, who are demanding certain types of services and demanding response to uh, certain issues that they might care about, whatever those issues are. So it's going to be a way people raise their hand and say what they care about. And it's going to help government prioritize services and policies to meet those needs. Uh, I think that will be one driving force. And it's the, the second thing is that social media and digital communications are really going to merge into the overall communication strategy so that there will be a more holistic strategy. And all of these things will have to work together better than they've ever worked before and government's going to have to think uh, very strategically about who its user base is, how it's going to reach that user base on an ongoing basis, what kind of information it holds about those users across all the ways it's communicating, and um, then what kinds of strategies it's going to deploy when the moment requires to reach people. And social media is going to be part of that picture, but it's very hard to predict exactly what part of the picture it's going to be.